Hey guys, welcome back to a new studio vlog. Yesterday was Vilva's seven years anniversary. We started the giveaway on Instagram and I was going to send a newsletter, but <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, yesterday I was resting like all day. I was watching so much TV and I was doing, finished my puzzling, puzzling, my jigsaw puzzle. Uh, it was a very hard one. Um, I bought this uh, glow-in-the-dark puzzle on Lidl uh, and <laughs> so the motive was Venice in the night so you can imagine it was a lot of blue like both in the like the water but it was a sky who was the trickiest one because you couldn't see a difference in the color so I had to try like every piece on every place until I found the right right one so it took forever but it's done uh, I was a little bit disappointed in the glow in the dark effect because I've I couldn't see anything at first and then I took a flashlight and like hover over it uh, a few seconds and then it showed like a little bit <laughs> but um, I couldn't catch it on camera so it was very very faint um not not the most fun puzzle in the world uh, i am definitely gonna give it away i'm very happy that i finished it and i think i'm gonna start a new one very soon it was very relaxing a little bit addictive for me that's why i try not to do puzzles in the middle of the week like started in the middle of the week because i cannot I cannot stop. I'm putting like a, a timer for like 20 minutes and then I'm like, oh, only five minutes more. And then <laughs> I do that a couple of times. And then after a while, I just stop the timer and continue until I'm satisfied, uh, which means that I can sit there for one or two hours, which is not a good thing. Um, I did let myself do it this time because I was uh, so stressed out and it made me calm. Uh, but <laughs> like in normal times I should not do that but anyway let's, let's not talk more about the jigsaw puzzles uh, but if you like it please let me know because I love puzzles uh, it's so fun it's very addictive um, but anyway what was I gonna say yeah I forgot to send a newsletter so I did it this morning uh, like Monday morning the day after uh, I don't know, my brain was not really working in the weekend since I had decided to let myself rest. That was the only thing I was thinking about and it just slipped my mind, which was very annoying. When I was going to bed, I remember it and I couldn't sleep because of it. Because <laughs> I was like um, telling myself that that's you know, I had two jobs and you forgot one of them. <laughs> but anyway... That, that happens sometimes. Um, I did rest so much yesterday that I actually have um, a sore back. So I'm going to take it easy today. Uh, I'm going to go up and pack some orders. We got four orders. Uh, but we also have a sale going on. So please check it out if you want to grab some stuff at a discount. Uh, we have discount on both Etsy and in our web shop at vilva.com, but the discount is higher on our own website because Etsy charges a lot of fees, so we cannot really have that big discount there. If you want a bigger discount, please go to our website vilva.com and grab some fun stuff. So I'm going to go and pack those orders that we have and... Uh, And I might try to illustrate some on the washi tape, but I'm so not feeling it. Uh, I did like a, a sketch of the flowers. I did one in a bigger size, but I did not really like it. It was too much white space and the, the bees were not so cute. So I might actually go with the standard one, 50 millimeter wide and um, we will see so I'm gonna see if I can do some illustration for that I have as you might remember set a goal to do uh, the Kickstarter designs finished in 12 weeks I 
I'm not sure I'm going to finish that because uh, of this burnout. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself and set those very short goals. It might, um, it might uh, affect me. No, it might be too hard for me to, uh, to do that. So I'm just going to take it as it comes. And uh, we will see. Hopefully the past will be easy to do, but <laughs> I'm not... I'm not putting any pressure on me, so. But anyway, let's go and pack some orders. together like the the matching set I'm 
Thank you so much to No, Christine, Patricia, and Lauren. Thank you. And don't forget to check out our sale on our website to get some good prices on our almost everything in our shop. Okay, bye. Hey, uh, it's uh, Wednesday today. I just showered. I was supposed to shower in the morning. <laughs> I did not do that. It's after three o'clock, so it's quite late. Um, <sighs> it's a real struggle to work. Um, I... Uh, did uh, some bookkeeping and some um, count, no, some stock count and uh, fix some new things for the new year. <laughs> Not the new year, but you know, things that I haven't got around to do before. Very small tasks, uh, important ones, but they're quite easy. So that's why I can handle doing them. I would really like to do some sketching and illustrating, but as soon as I even think about it, I get a, a like one of the symptoms is pressure here in my in my throat, which is very uncomfortable and uh, a, a bit scary. I know it's only related to stress. It's not like something dangerous. Uh, at least I think so because my mother has the same. A symptom. It's very funny because I always have the same symptoms as other people. So like my sister and me, we get the blisters on our hands when we're stressed and our tongues kind of misses some parts. And now my mother and me has the same throat pressure issue. I'm not sure if I'm copying them or why I always get the same uh, like symptoms as others. Uh, but let's not talk about that. Um, I just want to be like upfront with you that it's very hard for me to um, to be creative. Um, I get a bit afraid and I get these stress symptoms and uh, I avoid it, which is not the best thing to do. So I thought I should actually, instead of maybe continuing with the thing that I like a Kickstarter that I have been starting to work on. It makes me very anxious to think about uh, continuing that right now. So maybe I should just break it off and do something completely different just to uh, kind of <laughs> trick my brain. Um, so I was thinking about like sketching some new sticker sheets theme or ideas I haven't started yet. I really want to, but it's already like uh, after three and I don't know where the day has gone. I have not rested as much as I have done previous days. So it's not that. It's probably just that I've done a lot of other tasks to avoid, like to procrastinate from the, the things that I actually should do. We have very low stock on some of the products, like uh, since we're not restocking, uh, they are starting to sell out. So today we sold out our golden brush stroke and the customer asked if we're gonna bring it back. And I said, yes, we are, but not at the moment since <laughs> we are doing not so well. We are having a giveaway at the moment and what we asked was what theme people want us to do for our summer and autumn and we have got some very nice uh, ideas so maybe I should go with one of the suggestions and see if I can come up with something fun. If I do I will show you but I cannot promise anything. <laughs> okay bye. Hey guys uh, it's Thursday I <clears throat> woke up with a sore throat so I'm not gonna 
talk that much, but I just made a, a list of all the listings that are missing video on Etsy. <laughs> there are so many. Uh, so I thought I was gonna go through them. Um, not do everything at once, but at least check off like four or five videos per time uh, so that they might do a little bit better because they always say that if you have a video they um, are more likely to get sold and since I have a lot of them that don't have videos I think it's 60 or 70 percent of the listings I thought it's time to do something about that and since I'm having my creative block no not creative block more like creative um time out or <laughs> how to say my brain doesn't want to do it I think even this one will be easier to do um I have been pushing this off for a long time which you can imagine since there are so many it's a little bit overwhelming and uh, uh that's why I did a list so I can just tick them off one by one when I have finished them so I'm just gonna pick them out like from the top and go down. So we're gonna start with, I think it's these ones. Remember, but this one I use quite a lot. A lot. So maybe I will go to my other storage, which is like the, the extras that don't fit in my washi boxes. So here I have a lot. Uh, Oh, I found it right away. Here's the happy birthday. Let's see. Ooh, it's stuck. Here we go. So this one is more full. I don't have any labels on it, but I think it's fine because I only want to show the pattern. So I'm going to pick them out and I think we're going to do, yeah, five. Five today. So I'm going to pick them out and then we can start filming. But I'm filming on my phone because that's the only sort of camera filming equipment that I have for the, at the moment. I have not bought any camera for vlogging. I will do that later if, if we maybe reach, I don't know, 1,000 subscribers, then maybe I can think about doing that. <laughs> um, uh, but my phone works for, for now, so... I changed the water lilies to this one instead because they were just next to each other, <laughs> so it was easier. So now we have five of them. This one though, I would like to have like a card, um, like a birthday card to put on or a gift. So maybe I should wait with that one as well, actually. Yeah, let's take the water lilies instead. I just filmed rolling out these ones and I had to cut them off so that I could um, show that they are like be, that you can repeat this washi tapes all of these three are designed so that you can repeat them uh, but I thought instead of leaving it here I can just put it on some envelopes I just did it with these ones that I had in this notebook and I think it looks pretty cute sparkle and the last of our golden brush strokes uh, five of 
the Plumeria flowers and we're still having our sale on so don't forget to check our website out at vilva.com to see if you find something that you like before things are gone because we're not restocking at the moment so when they're gone they're gone until we can afford to do a restock and that will not be in at least a couple of months or even more we will see Not the most prettiest. <laughs> yeah. I'll actually I will redo it. I gave up, so I made into two packages instead. <laughs> Much easier, but very annoying because I know it can be done, but just because she ordered the the one with the backing paper, they are wider, which means that the wrapping paper doesn't really reach. They are just like touching like this. And yeah, I couldn't do it. So this was better, even though this one I reused, which you can see. <laughs> Not the most pretty when you have um, folding lines, but I don't want to throw those kind of things away because you can still use them. So. This is how it turned out. I hope this will help a little bit. I really hate drinking tea uh, and I hate drinking stuff with honey in it. But I'm gonna do both because that's good for the throat, I hope. <laughs> um, it's very <clears throat> painful to swallow. Uh, I don't want to get sick. I want to play floorball tomorrow, but I think I'm going to get sick, uh, sadly. But I hope that this could help. So, we will see. I will let you know tomorrow how I'm feeling. <laughs> Here we have the finished puzzle uh, It was this area It was very 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 hard. I think I spent two days doing all of this and the frame and like one or two weeks doing that <laughs> It was crazy um, it, This is the Sun, so it's not in the puzzle It's all the same color just like very tiny variations, so it was very hard Especially because you couldn't really see it on the on the box. It was only here that you could have some different color. So that was very very tricky. But I did it. And I just picked out a new puzzle that I'm gonna do. I got it from my sister like two Christmases ago. She lives in France, so she bought me a Parisian puzzle. <laughs> So that will be more fun, a lot more details and different colors. So looking forward to that. Uh, I'm uh, I'm sick today, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Oh, I have to sit down. Wait. If I'm going to be able to do any illustration before this vlog goes up, so we will see. I have to rest because I have a fever and a sore throat and my nose is starting to ruin, run. 
Uh, so, <laughs> very annoying. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Tuesday, the 12th of March. I'm still sick. Uh, <clears throat> I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, it's very heavy uh, here, but I'm uh, like not so tired. I hope <laughs> it's still early. Uh, yesterday I could work like 50% all the time. So I had to rest uh, in between. Uh, so I'm thinking that I will do the same today. Um, and we will see. I did some pack some orders yesterday, but I ran out of the freebies. So I have to... <coughs> <coughs> I have to cut some new ones. Uh, I did also just uh, write who won the giveaway, so it was uh, Pempel Angie and Ref Creatives that won. Um, so I'm waiting for them to contact me so that I can send them the prizes. Uh, I did have already printed out, uh, printed cut out before, so I only need to do. Uh, two of the A6 one, uh, but I also got an order, yay, uh, from Melanie, to uh, of the the A6 sticker bundle, so that one I'm also going to print and cut, and also the uh, uh, freebies, so, <coughs> sorry, I did ask my father to print out, uh, let me show you, print out, on my sticker sheet to see how his printer are because his one is usually very nice uh, uh, and rich colors but they were actually too rich and very weird on the animal ones it turned out very gray and this one is a super weird brown color so I'm not liking it at all and especially these ones turn out blue instead of purple so I'm not sure. So I added them to my oops uh, box. Let's see if I can find any of my own. So they are, you can still use them. Um, I'm gonna sell them for very cheap later. Here is the one that I have printed. And as you can see, it's a big difference in the colors. So I'm just gonna go with my colors. Usually his colors are better, but this time they were not. So I'm very sad that I asked him to print that many. <laughs> because I'm just putting them in the oops box as soon as I have cut them. Um, but uh, that was not, not easy to know. <clears throat> So I'm just going to cut them. I'm not actually going to use the freebies of these ones, even though they're not the 100% right color. They are still pretty cute. And luckily I didn't choose any of the weird color animals because this one it turned out very nice since he is white. Uh, I just changed the cut, cut lines on these ones with, uh, let me show you this uh, little squiggle here and also this one so I'm gonna cut them and see if I like it otherwise I'll just turn back to the old one um, so let's let's do that
was easier to get up. Let's see if I can compare it. Okay. I don't know. I mean, it looks nice with this one. It's easier for it to get damaged. So I guess I should do. I guess I should go with this one to be safe. Yeah, let me know what you think. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's after three, uh, I'm super tired, i just been packing orders because I didn't have energy to <laughs> finish it yesterday and also because of the freebies was uh, missing, no, they were out so I had to make new ones and I had one order for the A6 bundle, birthday bundle, so that one I also made today. I also have a wholesale order to Diana that needs to go to the post office um, so maybe I can go tomorrow we will see maybe I should rest a little bit and see if I can manage to go uh, but I'm tired so so that's what I've been doing cutting printing and cutting stickers and packing orders It's Thursday today. Um, I'm still not feeling like myself. Um, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I um, wanted to do some illustration, but I think that will have to wait until next week when I'm feeling more clear in my head and hopefully better than I'm doing now. I have listed uh, all the suggestions that I got from uh, the giveaway because we asked what sticker theme we wanted for like summer and autumn uh, and I listed all of them I even wrote them in my notebook and uh, not notebook my sketchbook because that's how I usually do it I write uh, like I list things because then I think it's easier for me to come up with something when I have uh, some keywords that I can work from. Um, I've not really decided uh, what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I did really like the summer activities at home suggestion. Um, <clears throat> I think it was Melanie who wrote that. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I just think that will be a little bit too a big of a task for me at the moment when I'm both like I haven't drawn in quite some time and also um, I think I need to start with like something easy for me so I can feel like um, like it's an easy task for me and not to uh, get overwhelmed again like I have with the Kickstarter collection <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so 
I'm not sure. I have had an idea to do either like gardening um, themed or maybe like house plants. Um, so maybe gardening could be a good one because that one you can have for both spring and summer so maybe i will start with that because i think that will be a little bit easier than the activities um because the activities one i'm thinking like the how it looks in my head is a lot of details uh, and i'm not sure that's a, the best way to start so uh, next week i'm hoping that i will be able to do some illustration with you guys uh, and as I said, I'm going to end the vlog now. Uh, I'm very sorry that it hasn't been that interesting. It feels like I've just been like packing orders and talking <laughs> in this vlog. If you're still watching, thank you so much for bearing with me. Uh, even though on the vlogs that might not be that eventful. Uh, I'm hoping to have a little bit more creative stuff to show you next and the next one, uh, I'm gonna really like sit down and illustrate. Uh, and even if it turns out bad, I just I think I just have to do it because now I have been thinking about illustrating, but I haven't actually sat down doing like anything. So uh, please hold me accountable for that in the next one. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <clears throat> Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>